Good morning, YTPC. What a lovely morning it is here. We've got a little break and tomorrow. We're going to get a ton of snow apparently. But today is sunny, a bit of blue sky. Everything's still a bit frozen, but the sun is warming it up. I'm getting into the Christmas swing big time now. <laughs> well, as you see, I never thought I would own a tin of this. This is 22 year old Christmas cheer. I just opened it this morning and my wife was the first to put her nose to the tobacco and tell me what she thought. And what she said is, oh, that is so nice, so orangey, so like mince pies and sweet. It's incredible, that's my, my wife saying that, you know, not a pipe smoker. Gets this little card on top which says very finest tobaccos of a particular vintage, not worrying about maintaining the flavour and appearance of this product into future years, but actually striving instead to present the unique character of a single crop and area. That's what chis Christmas cheer is all about happy sampling. Well I bought this actually on a tip off from old Hollywood Briar who knew someone who was getting rid of his stash and uh, managed to get a little portion of that. absolutely perfect condition beautifully ripened you wouldn't really know it's 22 year old but in the sunlight I can see the crystals of sugar glistening ah. that's the glistening snow I like to see I did pay a lot for it, maybe about 60 a tin, maybe half what, uh, or a third what four noggins are asking for, for something of that age. But when you try it, you have to say, it's still a good deal. So that's a hundred gram tin, so 30 a tin, yeah, it's expensive, but I You know those tobaccos you try and you know almost from the tin opening you're going to like, like them and when you take the first puff you think, oh, forget it, this is going to be great. This is one of them, not only great, it's going to be legendary. Somehow brilliantly McClelland has taken that little vinegary topping and if you think that, you find it. But it's turned with the Virginia into orange and fruit and figs and Christmas pies and... <sighs> Smoking it in a Vowen pipe, half chord church warden with a beautiful ring here, maybe 150 or something like that. I paid for this one, um, dollars. Beautiful pipe, nine millimeter, of course. And a, a really nice grain. Look at the grain on the front. And of 
process of flake and I'm becoming rapidly uh, a flake guy because it's so easy you just bend it up, rough it up a little bit pick those little tiny bits and put them on the top to help the light you know, pack it fairly firmly and you're off and you get a cool, even, fantastic smoke oh god this is so good I think it goes to number one St James's flake was the um, Galworth flake was my number one flake some others quite close to it, but this one is a league of its own. Okay, it's got 22 years. I've got two tins and I thought, shall I even open them? But a teacher at school said um, to a, a one who was eating his lunch and he put the sausages on the side. And he said, why do you put the sausages on the side? He said, well, because that's the best thing I want to have last. And he says, you know, the older you get, um, you eat them first because you never know if you're going to live till the end of the plate. Of course, he was joking, you know, and we all laughed. But I thought to myself, 22 years is enough. I'm going to enjoy some of this. And I'm taking this with me when we go south for Christmas into the mountains. I defy anybody not to like this. Oh, and those little concentrates of flavour in the orange hang around a bit, so when you come back to it, you get a little orange blast, you know. Oh, oh the sweetness behind it. You can only describe it as a mince pie type of sweetness. It's exquisite. Well, sorry, I was getting stupefied, I guess, by my experience here, but did want to tell you also about some things I've got from Jack. As you know, um, I won one of his uh, tampers in a, 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 a gourd raw recently. Beautiful. And this, again, this jeweler's brass. Exquisite. I just love it. Once you give them a, just a quick polish up with some Brasso, you'd think it's gold. Really, you would think it's gold. Then, and what I do like is Jack is doing a good job with branding. So he's got his very characteristic label here. You should take the chance to get something because he'll become famous and only uh, They'll only probably supply those um, exclusive magazines in the future, but, and then you'll have one and the value of it will go up 10 times in the last 20, tw next 20 years because his work is so fantastic. This is the wizard one which I bought and look at it. How somebody could do fine metal work like that so beautifully. I could never get near it with my hands. It's absolutely exquisite. This takes an artist and a craftsman. Isn't it marvellous? I'm going to take that with me south for Christmas. They will all marvel at it and probably want one even if they're not pipe smokers. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Lovely boxes as well, really classy boxes. The kind of snakeskin motif on them. Absolutely.
absolutely gorgeous. And Jack also makes rings and uh, I wanted to have one of these silver rings with the pipe, the calabash pipe on it and here I have it. Beautiful sterling silver and inside you probably can't see this but it actually says YTPC I don't know if you can see that printed at the back like some, some sort of secret mystical society which is probably what we are we're not so secret but mystical and magical we are it looks absolutely beautiful I got exactly the right ring size I realized I was probably getting my rings a little bit too tight and this one goes on and off easily but I think my joints are swelling up as I get older so and when I wear it a little bit, it's absolutely a very snug fit. So I got size W, which is quite on the larger size. But perfect, perfect. I do love a Robin, don't you, for Christmas? I know these are the old style of Christmas cards from the 40s and whatever, but I, I do, somehow I just like, love that style. Got another bit of burst of orange. Playing some just jazz Christmas music here. You know, this is uh, this is heaven's tobacco. I tell you. It's it's definitely an equal to uh, rich dark flake. Yeah. I see Dale Piper and uh, Uncle Phil shaking their heads and say that's impossible. If you haven't tried it, try it. Of course different because it has a fruit dimension, heavy fruit dimension which is... I had to change my pipe smoking pulley, put it in the wash of course, you know. Now some of you, some of you asked me, I continue to ask about Polybomb, I'll put a, a link down there and um, of course I'm going to have a glass of that. <laughs> and of course you can get it in Italy where it's made but uh, I think probably Germany, Europe, UK I think I saw one or two distributors offering it and one in the US but he sold out but there are some other versions uh, which you might could maybe look at but there's of course a lot of good egg li liqueurs there for Porton is pretty good and I think that's sold all over the world Probably because of the longer stem, I'm getting a little bit more con condensed, which gives me these sort of orangey juice blasts, you know. <laughs> this is actually the Paris model of this Vowen pipe, in case you're interested. Quite recently, actually a few days ago, I got a nice... Uh, Swiss pipe from a guy called um, Peter Roman in Affolton, not far from Zurich, and it's a church warden prince. So I'll show that to you in another video. Exquisitely made with a fantastic grain. We have very few 
bike makers left in Switzerland. Um, Andreas Witchy is one I've told you about. I've got several of his pipes, but um, Peter Roman is one of the others. But I must say, Bauen pipes are beautifully made, German quality, absolutely well drilled. And I must have uh, five or six. Yes, ring the bells, my dear friend. We have an occasion which is fitting. I should introduce my beautiful Beretta lighter. This is one of the first Zippo types of lighters I got. The same Beretta who makes excellent pistols. And this is uh, silver. I put a gas insert inside. Heavy silver plate, actually. 925 sterling but it's a beautiful beautiful engraving as it's a special occasion the Virginia that's behind this It would have been good, straight, fresh smoked, but after 20 years. The oldest tobacco by far that I've smoked. Nineteen ninety-eight. That's pre-millennium tobacco. Not only from the last century, from the last millennium. Beat that. That's like smoking Tutankhamun's own blend, you know. Well, the other thing, actually, I wanted to briefly mention, this little card, you know, because I keep old Christmas cards, and in a sort of old British style you put a string across a room or, or across a mantelpiece and you can hang them and they're very very attractive and decorative and of course it reminds you when you look inside people who've sent you these cards in years ago and this one was a friend of my mother and someone who helped us in the house occasionally Mrs. Cleb we used to call her lovely old lady i saw her some years ago and um, she's passed away in the meantime but at a very good age over 90 and it reminded me of mrs Clegg. and she wrote me these lovely cards at christmas and i used to send her one and it's exactly the sort of card i like with the robin on it Here's to you, Mrs. Clef, wherever you are, God bless, and thank you. Oh, that's another Nirvana. Now, last night, I tried a blob of this cold, so it was very thick, like a custard, on a mince pie, and I defy anybody not to like that, really like it. If you like mince pies, you put some of this eggnog, this particular one is nicely thick, and when you make it cold, it's like a kind of pudding or a custard. And it's beautiful deep yellow colour and it was exquisite so I know the tobacco I want in heaven and I know the dessert just got to figure out the main course
All right, old mate, you know, that's enough, isn't it? That proves he's looking out the window when he's doing this bell ringing, watching me, watching him. Thank you. Well, my dears, I'm going to call it a day for this particular video. Do have a look in Jack's shop. he have got some great stuff and still time to order for Christmas. Or a New Year's present even. Or just buy something for yourself. <laughs> and if you ever have, have an opportunity to get a sample of this or a tin, don't hesitate. And even if it's old and you're thinking maybe not this year, open it. It's joy to all pipe smokers. Well cheerio for now and talk to you in the next video, maybe one more here before we head off for the mountains for Christmas and then I'll see you from our other place and uh, make another video or two there before Christmas of course. Cheers everyone, bye bye.